hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the some of the methods uh, in computer interface uh, which were added in JDK 1.8 so in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to make use of comparing int in previous video tutorial we have seen comparing uh, we can how we can use comparing method in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make use of comparing int static method if you know how to use uh, comparing static method then uh, similarly you're gonna use comparing long and comparing double so basically comparing int is basically uh, is used to uh, perform I mean uh, comparison for integer argument and cross long and double for corresponding long and uh, double argument so let's uh, let's see a uh, example through an example how we can make use of uh, comparing int so here I'm going to create a list uh, so we have a arrays class we have arrays is a utility class uh, has a method is called as list right which accepts a uh, var arg right so here I'm going to add a lot of a uh, lot of string and few string so nothing but the person's name in this uh, list right uh, starting with different alphabets like first string I'm going to add Carter then let's say James Davis sorry in double quotes then Davis Jora and let's say Mary and Jola. So let's fix up to this and this will return you the list, right? So this returns as the uh, person, uh, I mean, list, right? So let's say this is this local variable name is list now we want to sort this name based on the length so so here we have a comparator interface right comparator uh, interface is having a method a static method so directly you can call by the uh, interface name so just I'm gonna use comparing long and comparing long you can see uh, uh, takes two int function as an argument and if you have a look into two fun uh, two int function is a functional interface which is having a method is called apply as int which takes a generic object and uh, process this input uh, which you are passing as a generic object and that returns finally an integer right so here uh, so for this uh, function interface we can pass a, a, a method reference right method reference so if you have any method in any class which accepts some parameters or after processing that return uh, returns a uh, integer then you can pass as a method reference right so come back here and if you look into the this method implementation if this extractor this extractor if you are passing as a null then this will throw null point exception right so here i'm going to pass a string we have a method is called length right which returns you the uh, which returns your integer so this is very synonyms uh, of uh, method which is available in uh, two int function method right so we can pass as a method reference now in this way we can get the comparator right now we can have a short method in collection utility class right so collections dot we can have a sort and we can make use of this sort method which accepts first argument as a list and second is a comparator so list we are passing over here a comparator we have just created using comparing in comparing int method so here you can pass and if you iterate this list then name will be sorted based on the uh, string length right so let's say for each and here 
the system dot out double colon print in it. It's a method reference. And if I run it, then you can see. So method is shorted based on the uh, length of the string, right? So Jola has four characters. James has five characters. Davis has a five characters. If both, uh, if more than one string has a five character, then whatever order order you have inserted in the list in same order that will be present in the shorted order, right? Again, Jola has a five strings. So Jola. And by we have a five string again, and Carter has a six strings, right? So this is basically sorted based on the uh, string length, right? And in that way you can use comparing it. Similar fashion you can use comparing long and double, but that is valid for the long and double data type. So I hope this was the very quick video on uh, this API. So. I hope you enjoyed learning this code. I am going to upload on the GitHub and GitHub location. I will specify in the video description itself. If you have any question, then please do post below to this video. I will try best to answer those queries. And thanks for watching this video.